Hello and welcome to Western Ohio Sports Network for another broadcast of local high school track and field. My name is Josiah Stover and I will be joined by Danny Holbrook. We're here tonight on the beautiful campus of Shawnee High School for the Shawnee Invitational. The weather is perfect as it currently sits at 70 degrees. It's been a roller coaster with the weather this week as we had a freeze warning not 72 hours ago. So the warmer temperatures should bring out the best in our athletes tonight. With better weather comes better times and we shouldn't expect anything less. This event brings together some of the best teams in Allen County and the surrounding areas. Uh, as we look at some of our teams tonight, Allen East, Elida, Finley, Indian Lake, LCC, Lima Senior, and Shawnee will all be competing for the Shawnee Invitational Crown tonight. As we look at our first event, the girls' 100-meter hurdles in lane four, we have Lexi Steffen from Finley. In lane five, Rachel O'Connor from Lima Shawnee. In lane six, with the best seed time coming in with a 15.81, is Ryland Jones. In lane seven is Jordan Gladden from Elida. In lane eight is Brianna Sheepline from Lion Shawnee. And in lane nine, Addison Lobb from Finley. And they are off. And right away, Ryland Jones is out early, doing a great job three-stepping each hurdle. Almost has a hurdle lead as she's going to finish. And she will win. The 100 meter hurdles for Allen East. So congratulations to Ryland Jones on a great first run on the 100 meter hurdles. Up next is the boys 110 meter hurdles. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. As we look at our field, for the boys, 110 meter hurdles. In lane four is Jalen Rigel from Elida. Elida. In lane five from Lima Shawnee, Ty Schaub. In lane six is James Steffen with the best seed time of 15.61. In lane seven is Indian Lake, Gavin Henry. In lane, in lane nine is Keevan Green Jr. from Lima Shawnee. And back to lane eight is Sam Ernst from Finley. So the runners are in their blocks. they're set and they're off a good start in lane seven from Indian Lake but as we see from Shawnee and Finley battling it out right now it looks like it's in lane six from Finley is James Steffen with the win there at the end looks like he got him by one stride so a great race there by James Steffen and up next is the girls' 100-meter dash, one of my favorite races. Opportunity to see some real speed out here, and it should be a battle between some teammates here with the best seed time. In lane four is Clay Ken or Kennedy Clay from Elida and Omatayo Ah from Elida, both come in with the same seed time of 12.86. They'll be in lanes four and five. For the rest of the field, in lane one is Haley Prater from Indian Lake. In lane two is Aubrey Young from Allen East. In lane three is Addison Beck from Indian Lake. In lane six is Mackenzie Lynch from Lima, Senior, Lima Shawnee. And from Lima Senior is Madeline James in lane seven. So we'll be looking for those teammates as they battle in lanes four and five. Great times, especially this early in the year. As the runners get in their blocks. There we go, it's, looks like in lane three from Indian Lake, Addison Beck with the early lead followed by Aubrey Young and it looks like Lima or Indian Lake takes it. Addison Beck in lane three with the final there in the girls 100 meter dash. Great run by her as she got out early out of the blocks and was able to set the pace and was able to hold off Aubrey Young. What a great race there from the Indian Lake Addison Beck. Up next is the boys 100 meter dash. And as we look at some of these times, man, we got some speed on the track tonight. As we look at the best seed time coming in is Dalton Hobson from Lima Shawnee with a 10.79. 
expected to be our leader tonight, but he's got some competition from the Finley runners right to his left and his right there. As we look at the rest of our field, in lane one is Quest Clay from Indian Lake. Daylin Heil is in lane two from Elida. Dominic Smith from Finley is in lane three. Dalton Hobson is in lane four from Lima Shawnee. In lane five from Finley, Israel Moore. Lane six, Jackson Freisner from Allen East. And in lane seven, Colton Hobson from Lima Shawnee. Definitely that 10.79, a good time here so far, especially early in the year. As we hope with the weather getting warmer, these times will continue to improve. As the runners look to be set, and official is talking to a few of the runners. Make sure they're in the right lanes. As the official now calls them into their blocks. Once again, the best seed time coming in is Dalton Hobson in lane four from Lima Shawnee. And it's so important in these types of races to get out quickly out of those blocks. And as we see here, looks like a battle there in lanes four and five. And it does look like Dalton Hobson won by half a step there unofficially until we get the results. But a great race there by him and also Dominic Smith from Finley and Israel Moore from Finley challenging him. But it looks like Dalton Hobson comes away with the 100 meter dash victory for Lima Shawnee. Up next, girls 4 by 2 100 meter relay. As we look at our field here, in lane 2 is Lima Senior. In lane 3 is Lima Shawnee. In lane 4 is Finley. In lane 5 is Elida. In lane 6 is Allen East. In lane 7 is Indian Lake. Coming in with the best seed time is the team in lane 4 and Finley. Coming in with a seed time of 1 minute 49 seconds. As the runners get set. And there they go. As we see early, it's hard to judge on the back stretch where everyone's at, but it looks like Allen East has made up the distance on their opponent on the outside. We'll see who gets the first handoff. And it does look like Finley is able to pass the baton here. As they look, they are in the early lead coming around the final stretch. Followed by Allen East in lane six and Elida in lane five. As we come to the Next handoff, and once again, it is Finley, followed by Elida, which looks like they struggled a little bit, and along with Allen East on that handoff. Both runners almost had to come to a stop to receive it, but that allowed Finley to get out to an either, even farther lead as they come to the final handoff of the four by two. Once again, Finley gets a good handoff. As they come around on this final turn, has about a 40 meter lead. So come around here in lane four, and once again, it is Finley. With lead followed by Elida and Allen East in lane six, as it looks like Shawnee is making a late push for that third spot, as Finley will win it. Elida in second, Shawnee third, and Allen East will finish in fourth. And next up is the boys' 4 by 200 meter relay. As we look at our field, in lane two is Indian Lake. In lane three is Lima Shawnee. In lane four is Finley. In lane five is Elida. In lane six is Allen East. 
And in lane seven is Lima Central Catholic. Coming in with the best time once again uh, is the Finley team with a time of one minute, 30 seconds. Should be a good battle as quite a few of the other seed times are very close. We'll see which team can get out early. And they're off. After looking at the back stretch, got a couple runners able to catch their opponents on the outside. We'll see who gets the first handoff. And it does look like Finley is able to get the first handoff coming around the curve. It looks like LCC is on the outside there. But quite a few teams bunched up here as we see who gets the first handoff. And it is Finley. Followed by Lima Shawnee, Elida. It's going to be a battle between second, third, fourth, and fifth here as Finley is out to a good 20 meter lead. Right behind them is Shawnee, Elida, LCC, and Allen East. Finley gets the handoff, but Shawnee doing a good job of cutting down that distance. Finley still with a little bit of a lead here. Coming out of the final turn in lane four, it is Finley, but Shawnee's trying to come up Looks like they'll run out of space as Finley takes this, followed by Shawnee in second. Elida will come in third. LCC in fourth. Once again, another great run there by this Finley team. And we're back here at the Shawnee Invitational here at the, on the uh, campus of Shawnee High School. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stover for WOSN. And Josiah, let's take a look at the field for this one mile event. Yeah, as we look at their field here, uh, from Elida, Kayla Danks. Uh, from Lima Shawnee, Jenna Stump. From Lima Central Catholic, Emily Morsey. From Indian Lake, Alicia Braumeyer. From Finley, Abana Dotson. In lane six, Stephanie Cavallero from Lima Central Catholic. In, from Lima Senior, Juanita Johns. In lane, I'm sorry, no lanes. Sorry, I'm so used to calling lanes <laughs> here. But uh, in the field here from Elida, Emily Durham. In, from Indian Lake, Reagan Rash. From Finley, Kayla Moyer. Lima Senior, Riley Heldman. From Lima Shawnee, Tama Jamaya. And teammates from Allen East, Isabella Carmen and Kaya Heinball. Josiah, we've talked before on our broadcast on track and field events that neither you or I were uh, long distance runners, but I got to believe this weather tonight is really, really making these uh, distance runners pretty happy. Yeah, and something that you know, brought up earlier is just the temperature helping these runners. You know, I had mentioned that we were in a freeze warning earlier <laughs> right, this week. Right. You know, then to go from 32 to 70 out um, is a big difference, but these runners, you know, if there's some wind at their back. Um, you know, they love this type of temperature to get out, especially, you know, the mile run, which we said is, yeah, we weren't mile runners. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful track uh, out here at Shawnee High School, the, the bright red. And uh, I, I got to believe that it, it helps with, the, you know, with the black track, you get a lot of heat off of it. You just wonder how much heat comes off of the red track. Yeah, absolutely. You know, talking to um, the AD, you know, this is the second year they've had this, the new football field, the turf, along with the redoing this track. So just a beautiful campus. You know, we get to see it all from way up high here, but, you know, just seeing that new turf field and then just this just world-class facility. Yeah, we're uh, hoping later on in the broadcast, uh, the new head football coach here at Shawnee High School, Travis Wireman, he's here in attendance tonight, and uh, we invited him up to the booth for a little talk here, maybe during the two-mile when we got some time here. We'll get a chance to talk to him. He's pretty excited about getting started out here. Uh, but we continue here with the mile run uh, here at the Shawnee Invitational. No rain yet. Uh, some rain on the way in tonight, but uh, none so far. Well, originally I uh, had the guys uh, set up outside, but looked like there was going to be some rain coming through. So we decided to go back up in the booth. So, um, but, you know, would like a little, that weather, you know, cool down a little bit. But, you know, these runners, like we said, love this 70-degree weather, and so do we. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> we really like it. You got some results from earlier yeah, events. Yeah, some of the field events that have happened so far. Uh, for the boys' long jump, the winner of it was Avion Miles from Finley with a jump of 22 feet 2 inches, uh, followed by Joel Stern from Lima Shawnee. In third place from Finley, Dane Greenmorn. And in fourth place from Indian Lake, Quest Clay. So doing a great job on the boys' long jump. For the girls' long jump, a winner from Finley also uh, was Caitlin Steckschulte with a jump of 16 feet 3 inches. Following her were two Indian Lake teammates, Addison Beck and Ava Failer. In fourth place from Lima Shawnee, Kaylina Hawkins. So great job by those athletes. Uh, looking at the girls' shot put results, in first place was Maddie Miller from Indian Lake. In second place was Madeline Stecksholdy from Finley. In third place from Elida, Jaina Barnett. And in fourth place from Lima Senior, Jaislyn Ingram. So a great job um, by Maddie Miller with a throw of 34 feet 9 inches in the girls' shot put. You got to believe those uh, field event athletes are really liking this weather also, too, you know, uh, not having to stand out there in a blazing. And the other thing, too, is they, they've been practicing so much in bad weather, whether it's rain or, you know, when I coached track, we, we were – taking the kids out basically every night, no matter what the conditions are, because you got to get used to it. you got to get used to it. But uh, what a treat for these guys tonight to have mild temperatures and uh, no uh, no adverse conditions to run in at all. Yeah, absolutely, especially early. You know, right. you, you want to get in as many events as you can for these athletes, especially want to get the conditioning, improve the times, improve, improve throws and jumps. Um, but like you said, um, really one of the nice weathers, but how crazy the Ohio weather can be. Oh, yeah, Cold, absolutely. hot, so – you know, as, as a coach, you want to get them out, and it's a great night for a track meet. So the runners have separated themselves here in the mile as we uh, watch the last few laps here continue to go on here at the Shawnee Invitational. Danny Hilbert, Josiah Stober for WSN's coverage of the Shawnee Invitational. Love coming out here. We get treated great out here. Nice press box, and uh, usually we get it to ourselves, and that's the case tonight. We got, uh, got our all to ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, look, at, get some more results in yeah, here, absolutely. Too, especially while um, we enjoy this 1,600-meter run. As we look at the girls' 4x8 team, uh, finishing in fourth was Indian Lake. In third place was Elida. In second place was Lima Shawnee. And once again, in first place was Finley with a time of 10 minutes, 38 seconds in that girls' 4x800 meter relay. Finley Trojans flexing their muscle a little bit here tonight. Yeah, once again, another result here we got in is boys' high jump. In fourth place was Gavin Henry from Indian Lake. From Finley was Joshua DeHike. In second place was Jacob Dietering from Lima Shawnee. And the winner from Finley, once again, Sam Ernst, with a jump of 5 feet 8 inches. So great job by the Finley athletes. And the girls come in as they wrap up the 1,600-meter run. And we're trying to get a winner here. We, uh, we're at a disadvantage here with our uh, <laughs> positioning. Uh, we'll get the winner here just as soon as we can here in the mile run. Yeah, it looks like maybe a runner from Shawnee. I was going to say it was it's Shawnee. It was the runner that came through first on the mile run. Uh, sometimes when uh, the girls are coming across the line like that, uh, from our vantage point, we have uh, to wait to see it. But it looks like it. Uh, Jenna Stump. Jenna Stump with a. Uh, she had the best, I believe, the best seed time coming in, did she not? And she wins the mile run here at Shawnee High School. So a good run for that young lady in the Indian score. Ten big points. And the boys will be up next in the 1600 meter run. And it's the boys' turn on the track here, the 1,600-meter run. Four laps around the track, these young men. Great conditions tonight to run in. No rain, mid-60s temperatures. Let's take a look at the field of runners for the boys. 1,600-meter run. Yes, we look from Elida, Garrett Beamer. From Lima Central Catholic, Michael Miller. From Lima Shawnee, Carter Cleves. From Indian Lake, Kaysen Lacher. From Elida, Mason Troyer. From Allen East, Jaden Kovalt. Teammates from Finley, Tyler Strabley and Pat Tran. From Indian Lake, Tony Cummins. From Lima Central Catholic, Michael Fru. From Lima Senior, Lyle Foster and his teammate, Mason Owen. And from Lima Shawnee, Noah Williams. Yeah, just I, our yeah. I look at those uh, two young men from Lima Shawnee, those seed times, fantastic times. This early in the season, Carter Cleves comes in with a 4.30 time and Noah Williams with a blazing time of 4.24. Really good times for uh, this time of the year. Yeah, absolutely. And you see them out early. 
both the teammates, you know, it's so nice, especially having a little depth and having teammates that can challenge each other in practice as we see both Shawnee athletes coming around in front of us out in lead. So you imagine every day they're chasing each other, working hard, trying to push well, each other. You know, we, we talk about it all the time, Josiah, about the advantage of running on your home track in a big event like this, the Shawnee Invitational. But they're really, and people kind of snicker, but it really is important. You, you feel comfortable on your home track. You you run it every day. You're out here. It's not like it's different than other tracks, but it's your track, and you feel that little bit of confidence in your step. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's just like any sport, that, sure. that home field, home court, you know, it as you said, the sizes are the exact same, but, <laughs> right. you know, like you said, every day you're putting in the sweat, you're, you're working hard, you know, pushing each other, and we see that here as these Shawnee athletes continuing to set the pace as the field kind of thins out behind them. We'll see if they continue to, to keep this pace and, you know, once they get to that final lap, really start pushing to, to finish and, you know, We'll see who finishes first. Yeah, and the top four runners right now have taken uh, – well, the top five actually have kind of separated themselves from the pack. Uh, Josiah, are you more of a – when you coach – do you tell your kids to get out and set the pace, maybe lag back? I mean, there's all kinds of theories to do it and how you want to do it. I used to let my kids make that decision, how they felt comfortable. If they wanted to set the pace and they could continue that pace, mm -hmm. that's the key. Absolutely. I, yep. I think that is, yeah. Yeah, and I, I think it just depends on the runner. You know, there are some runners that like to be behind that first and second guy yeah. and just kind of settle into their race and run it the way they want to run and then push at the end. You know, and there's others, they like to get out in front and they want to set that pace because there's no legs in front of them. All they're doing is looking to that next 20, 30 meters ahead of them to try to hit that spot. So, you know, it really just depends on the runner. And I, and I have coached both. Yeah, and those uh, Lima Shawnee runners continuing to set the pace. There's uh, three young men who have separated themselves from the pack, so a really interesting uh, style by all three runners. You always have one person who sits back in four or five, and they end up turning the jets on, and then you're like, <laughs> wow, wh where's he been the whole race? But he just felt comfortable in that position and uh, kind of drafting a little bit. Yeah, yeah well, and, you know, if you're in that position, you know, you're coaching that type of athlete, you know, you just don't want him to wait too long, you know, to sure. make that final push and, and and you don't want to lose that front group as we see here you know one two and three are a good 20 30 meters ahead of four and five so you don't want to separate yourself too far and then get yourself in a position where you can't catch up but so far are two shiny runners out in front and then two finley in third and fourth make up our top four. So yeah, a nice little rivalry here between the Indians and the Trojans here in the 1600 meter run as all four runners from Finley and Shawnee are in one through four positions yeah, so let's get some results in here, too, as they come around for their final lap. The boys' 4 by 200 meter relay in third place was Elida. In second place was Lima Shawnee. And coming in first place, once again, is Finley with a time of 1 minute 30 seconds. Good run by the Trojans there. And looking at the boys' 110 meter hurdles. In fourth place was Jalen Wright Rigel from Elida. In third place, Gavin Henry from Indian Lake. In second place, Ty Schaub from Lima Shawnee. And James Steffen from Finley. With our winner with a time of 15.86 in the boys' 110 meter hurdles. Nice time for this time of year, 15.6. And uh, Josiah, before you continue any further, you'll notice the umbrellas are popping up. So the rain's getting a little bit heavier, nothing major. But uh, here come the two Shawnee runners. And they are going to cross the line one, two. So congratulations to those young men. And looks like Finley will finish third and fourth. So points separated between those two schools, 10 through six. Back here at the Shawnee Invitational, it's time for another relay. The girls four by 100 meter relay, Josiah, four girls. One lap around the track. I love this event. It's not the fastest team. It's the team that gets the baton around the track the fastest. Yeah, but there is a lot of speed involved. Oh, there's, <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> yeah, if you've listened to us before, we love these 100-meter dash and the 4x1s and 4x2s. But looking at our field here, in lane two is Lima Shawnee. In lane three is Elida. In lane four with the best seed time is Finley with a time of 51.7. In lane five is Allen East. In lane six is Lima Senior. In lane seven is Indian Lake. So here we go. First handoff. A lot of great hand. Looks like Finley out fast. Looks My like goodness. Finley and Allen East also had yes. a good handoff there. You look down the backstretch, and Finley takes the early lead on the second handoff as they go into the third curve there. And it's the Trojans and Mustangs 1 2. 
A little, little bobble there by the Allen East. Uh, handoff on the third one. They'll go into the anchor leg on the last curve here. Yeah, the girls like inside of Elida, though, really coming on in this third leg here. Here we go. Putting them in the, looks like, third place. And the Finley Trojans are going to win this one. And it's a battle for second place between Allen East, Elida, and Shawnee. And the Trojans are going to win it. And the Mustangs hang on to beat the Elida Bulldogs, followed by the Shawnee Indians. A really nice race. The Finley Trojans continue to score big points here at the Shawnee Invitation. Back here for the boys, four by 100 meter run. My, or excuse me, Miles, I just left Miles. Joe Silas, take a look at the field for the boys, four by 100 meter. Yeah, in lane two is Elida. In lane three is Indian Lake. In lane four is Finley with the best seed time of 43.08. In lane five is Lima Shawnee. In lane six is Allen East. And in lane seven is Lima Central Catholic. Well, we've been here the last couple years, and uh, really the Shawnee boys and the Allen East boys have had some fantastic relay teams, and now you add Finley into the mix. This is going to be a really good race, Josiah, as the girls just had a fantastic race, and the Finley Trojans win that one. So we are underway here in the boys' 4 by 100 meter relay. And looks like... Finley and Lima Shawnee. Yeah, Shawnee very got, close. Yeah, Shawnee had a little bit of a struggle with the handoff there. And Allen East maybe on the outside going into the third exchange. Oh, a struggle there by Finley. Allowed to look like Lima Shawnee to catch up a little bit, but they still have a good five meter lead. You saw the Trojans struggle with the handoff on that third exchange, but they bring it to the anchor leg and here come the Finley Trojans, followed by the Shawnee Indians in second place, Indian Lake in third, Elida trying to make up that ground for third place and it's going to be Shawnee, ah, I don't know. close was to tell. <laughs> right, especially from our position. We so. know that uh, Finley wins the race, followed by Shawnee, but third and fourth is really close between Indian Lake and Elida, and we'll wait to get those results in the boys' 4x100 meter relay. Back here for the girls' 400 meter dash. Danny Roberts, Josiah Stover here for Shawnee Invitational. Josiah, it's one lap around the track. I don't know if this is a speed race or a length race or a distance race. Uh, this is a tough one. This is a real tough Absolutely. one. Absolutely. And, you know, it's one of those that you kind of have to have a strategy. You know, what are you going to do? Are you going to sprint the first 100, you know, make it stride it out and then finish strong? Or, um, as you said, you know, it's just really based on your strategy. Tonight's title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Let's take a look at the field, Josiah. Yeah, in lane one is This Is Love from Elida. In lane two is Clara Grindel. In lane three is Cameron Finfrock from Indian Lake. In lane four, with the best seed time from Finley, is Josie Wyrock. In lane five, Imani White from Lima Senior. In lane six, Tatum Marks from Lima Central Catholic. And Lily Zaki. Sikowski from Finley is in lane seven. I'm glad you have to do the names, huh? <laughs> uh, we apologize That's if right. we say a name wrong. We try to do our very best here at yeah, WSN. Absolutely, we absolutely do. So they are taking off here in the girls' 400-meter dash. And, you know, they take off like gangbusters around that first curve. And usually it's that last curve where you see kids starting to kind of, you know, especially early in the season. Now, as the season goes on, the kids get stronger and the, uh, you know, the repetitions become more and they and they get used to that one lap. You got you got to know what you can do and how Ab you can do absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we've had some athletes that, you know, sprint that first 100, 150 really hard and then stride it out and then try to sprint that last 120 meters. But. Um, you know, really, it's something that you get stronger and you limit some of those strides as we go. But as we see here on the final lap or on the final stretch here, both Finley runners are out front doing a great job, as you can see, trying to stride out, pump those arms to finish strong for the Trojans. Yeah, the Trojans are going to go one, two, and the young lady from Lima Central Catholic looks like she's going to come in at three and Indian Lake at four. So a fantastic run by all those ladies in the girls' 400-meter dash. Welcome back to the Shawnee Invitational. It's time for the boys' 400-meter dash. Tonight's title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, 
home style happens here. Josiah, it's one lap around the track for the boys, and this is going to be a quick one. It'll be under a minute. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully a seat time around 51 would be nice. To, that would be really nice to see this time of the year. Yeah. Uh, but let's look at the field here in lane one. Lawson Flores from Lima Central Catholic. Keegan Bullock is in lane two from Elida. From Lima Shawnee, Reese Davidson is in lane three. With the best seat time is Israel Moore in lane four from Finley with a time of 51.5. In lane five is his teammate, Connor Hermiller. Uh, also a good time, 51.9. Oh, nice run. Yeah. So it should be a battle between them two. In lane six is Sean Alexander from Lima Shawnee. And in lane seven, Larry Smith from Elida. We are underway in the boys' 400-meter dash. You know, a lot of times, uh, Josiah, when you go to these meets, and you and I both coach, a lot of times coaches will make their 200-meter runners, their 200 meter runners run the 400 to strengthen up a little bit. And you see that every once in a while. So Yeah, absolutely. Kind of build that endurance. Absolutely. You know, to, you know, run that long distance around, and then uh, see the 200. Like, oh, this is short. Yeah, right. And, and, and typically, uh, unless you got a real special athlete, typically when you get into postseason track meets, you got to make that decision. Yeah, like, absolutely. It's just so hard on the body to run the 400, 200. So here they come around the last curve here in the home stretch. It is a three-way battle. It's two Finley runners and a, I believe, a Shawnee, Shawnee runner, and they are battling for the lead here. It's going to be. Uh, looks, looks like, like Finley. Finley. It looks like Shawnee. Finley, Shawnee. It looks like Finley, Shawnee, Finley. So the Shawnee runner splits the Finley Trojans. What a run by those three young men. Back here at Shawnee High School, where the girls take center stage, it's the 300 meter hurdles. Excuse me, 300 meter hurdles, Josiah. And uh, this is a really, we say it every time we do a meet, a, uh, this is a brutal race. This is the grind right here. <laughs> it sure is. Talk about a uh, race. Um, but just looking at our field, and, you know, it's got to be highlighted by Ryland Jones from Allen East coming in with a time of 46 She's seconds. exceptional. She's Absolutely. exceptional. Absolutely. Yep. You know, just glides and, you know, multi-sport, stellar athlete. Um, soccer, basketball does it all. But look at the rest of the field. Michaela Motter is in lane three. Chloe Troyer is in lane four. Addison Lobb is in lane five. Ryland Jones is in lane six. In lane seven, Rachel O'Connell from Lima Shawnee. Jordan Gladen is lane eight, and Mara Bin from Indian Lake is in lane nine. Now, don't look now, but uh, here comes the young lady from Allen East, Ryland Jones, as she is just attacking the field here in lane six, and she is running away from the field, and she's going to win the girls' 300-meter hurdles. She's really good at this. <laughs> you can see just that stride. You know, takes a sprinting in, just getting over that hurdle, and she does, does it easy as she finishes, you know, a good 50 meters ahead of the rest of the pack, followed by Shawnee. It looks like Finley will finish third. The girls, 300-meter hurdles. Back here, the boys take center stage. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stober at the Shawnee Invitational, and it's the boys' 300-meter hurdles. Josiah, let's take a look at this fast field for this event. Yeah, absolutely, in the – Focus has to be on in lane six with James Steffen from Finley with a time of 39.8. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this young man run. This 300-meter hurdles, but the rest of the field, Noah Shirk from Indian Lake is in lane four. Ty Schaub from Lima Shawnee is in lane five. Lane six is James Steffen. In lane seven, Jalen Rigel from Elida. In lane eight, Sam Ernst from Finley. In lane nine, Gavin Henry from Indian Lake. So a good start as they get out of the blocks quick. And it looks like the Shawnee runner was across the first hurdle. Uh, and it looks like James Steffen from, uh, or excuse me, from Finley has taken an early lead. And it is a battle between these two young men. Yeah, Ty Schaub and James Steffen battling out here. It looks like Shawnee has taken the slight lead. And they are neck and neck coming down the home stretch. What a great finish we're going to have here. And looks like the young man from Shawnee missed the hurdle and he yeah. kind of got tripped up. Slowed him down. Yeah, and James Steffen from Finley, if he clears the last hurdle, is going to win the 300 meter hurdles. Yeah, followed by Elida. And it looks like a battle between Shawnee and yeah. there at the end. Ty Schaub really running well there, and he came up on that hurdle, and it looked like he got uh, his steps kind of off balance there a little bit, and that happens in this race. Hey, better it happen now than in the postseason, right? Back here at Shawnee High School for the girls' 800-meter run. They decided to uh, double up on the field, just say. So uh, good luck calling these names. Yeah, so <laughs> kind of hard to 
figure out who's in which lane. Um, but we'll it, yeah, it, and, and just to clarify, folks, it looks like they're doubling up on the both heats because of the weather coming in, I'm assuming, with the uh, dark skies and maybe possible rain showers here. Yeah, so absolutely. a good move by the folks here at Shawnee yeah, to get this race in. And I'm sure they'll do that with the boys event coming up next. But yeah, the girls, 800-meter run. Two laps around the uh, stadium, and or the track, excuse me, not the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> we don't run around the stadium, but uh, yeah. yeah. Looks like there's 12 runners out there. Originally on our heat sheets, they had 14. So unsure who stepped out of this um, race, but we'll try to do our very best here to give some names out there as we might see them. Yeah, it looks like they're getting ready to turn the lights on here at the stadium as the uh, – the sun's completely gone, and it's pretty dark here. Uh, you know, you get down to uh, state and regionals in the 800-meter run, Josiah, and you look at kids that run just unbelievable times, and it's the conditioning and it's the strength of their their bodies that they run that first lap, and they can. It's, it's continuity. It's continuation of what they're doing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's just like anything. It's just the time they've spent working. You know, some of that comes into the weight room. Oh, you absolutely. Know, the, the strength they've built up, the stamina, the endurance. Um, as they continue to, to train each day. And, um, you know, you can see as these runners, you know, as you say, once you get down to state, those times are just unbelievable. They're amazing. And, and I don't think people understand as much time as, as track and field athletes spend in the weight room. And it, it just goes back to a stronger athlete is a better athlete. And you, you see these sprinters in distance that, that are in the weight room with their legs and their arms. And, look, strength helps in everything you do Absolutely. in athletics. So we are finishing up the girls' 800-meter run here at the Shawnee Invitational. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stover, and Megan Hurston on the call for us. And we'll get to Megan here soon in our broadcast. Absolutely. It looks like we got a change in leadership here or <laughs> in the lead for it was look like Emily Durham from Elida was out in front. But now looks like we got – I believe it's Shawnee. It's kind of hard in the dark here to, to see yeah, the jersey. Is that Shawnee or it Indian is. Lake? looks like Indian Lake. Indian so the young Lake. lady from Indian Lake comes on late, and yeah. go, she's going to win the 800-meter run. And Josiah, what a strong finish wow, for that, that young lady. Last 150, she just turned it on and passed the Elida runner. I believe that was Reagan Rash from Indian Lake just kind of exploding there yeah. that last 150 meters and kind of came out of nowhere. And, you know, you don't yeah. really see that pass on the corner, but she was able to do it, and great finish by her. And Finley comes in at 3-5, and five, and it looks like the Lima Central Catholic runner splits him at the fourth position. Boys 400 meter, or excuse me, boys 800 meter up next on the track. Back here at Shawnee High School for the boys 800 meter run. Two laps around the track. Josiah, let's take a look at this field. Yeah, it looks like 11 runners out, so they combine this due to the rain we believe is coming and starting to sprinkle out there. But as we look at our field here, Silas Holbrook, Aramis Morales, Victor Pierce, Will Thaler, Cosimo Di Tola, Jaden Kovalt, Jeremiah Spiceland, Pat Tran, William Doyle, Garrett Beamer, Lyle Foster, Noah Williams, and Hamza Salem are our field out there. Coming in with the best seed time from Lima Shawnee was Noah Williams in a time of 159. And I don't know all the runners, but Silas Holbrook, that name has a ring to it. I, uh, I don't, don't know the young man, but uh, he's got to be quality with a name yeah, like that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, at least that uh, family heritage. That's right, right. the Holbrook, Holbrook name. name. That's right. <laughs> so two laps here, and the Shawnee runner is out in front. Uh, nice first lap there by that game. He's got big strides. He goes about, uh, looks like he goes about six foot, and he uh, really looks comfortable leading this pack right now. Yeah, we've mentioned his name before. I believe that is Noah Williams and, you know, really setting the pace there for that first lap, you know, as the field continues to spread out here. We're starting to get a little bit of wind. You see the flag over on the right current turn there, excuse me. Uh, we're starting to get the wind picked up here, so maybe pushing those guys along, and it looks like the rain's coming down a little steadier now, so uh, some adverse conditions here for the runners. That's, if it stays like this, we'll be okay. Uh, we don't want to see a lot of rain or a lot of wind here, but uh, right now the runners look really comfortable out there. At least it's not blazing hot like it could no, be. <laughs> no, it looks like temperatures dropped a little bit here, but still very comfortable and better than the 32 we had earlier. Um, this week, so <laughs> you're uh, right. Are, we're 20 degrees warmer than what we were yeah. midweek. So, and we have these young men finishing up the 800 meter run, and it looks like the young man from Shawnee is going to win this one comfortably in a battle for second place here. 
and a strong battle for these two young men. And they'll go 2-3, and Finley finishes fourth. So the Finley Trojans go 3-4. and four. They have racked up the points tonight, Josiah. I'm back here at Shawnee High School for the girls' 200-meter dash, and the rain has started to fall a little more heavy and getting a little darker here as the uh, bad weather seems to be rolling in. Tonight's title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphos, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Let's take a look at the field for the 200-meter dash. And we have in lane one, Mackenzie Lynch from Lima Shawnee. In lane two, Clara Grindle from Elida. Maya Hammer is in lane three from Finley. In lane four, the name we've called multiple times today, Rylan Jones from Allen East with the best seed time, 26.7. Who just won the 300-meter hurdles. Just won the 300-meter <laughs> hurdles. In lane five is Addison Beck from Indian Lake. In lane six, Brianna Smith from Elida. And in lane seven, Rylan's teammate, Aubrey Young from Allen East is in lane seven. So they are off and running in the girls' 200-meter dash and a good start for the aforementioned Ryland Jones from Allen East as she gets out. And what an athlete she is, uh, just <laughs> the way she runs the 300 hurdles and comes back for the 200. And uh, she is in second place, and she is moving up. And a great job by the young lady from Indian Lake as she is pulling her. Ryland Jones coming up behind her, and it looks like – Oh, Ooh, a not sure. Finish. I look like Rylan Jones from from Allen East may have got her, but the young lady from Indian Lake pushed forward. So we're gonna have to wait for those results. Yeah, great race by both of those with Rylan Jones coming on late. But as you said, kind of photo finish down there at the end. <laughs> great job by all those ladies and the girls. Two hundred meter dash. Back here for the boys, 200-meter dash. And this is a quick field, Josiah. You blink and you're going to miss one. we get got some really good runners in this 200-meter dash. Yeah, a lot of close times here. Uh, in lane one is Lawson Flores from Lima Central Catholic. In lane two is Jackson Friesner from Allen East. In lane three, Avion Miles from Finley. In lane four, Dalton Hobson from Lima Shawnee. His teammate in lane five, Joel Stern. In lane six, Dominic Smith from Finley. And in lane seven, Keegan Bullock from Elida, and as you said, um, that in lanes three, four, and five, all those seed times just in that 22 seconds. So sure. should be a battle here towards the end of this race, see who can finish fast. What a great job they're doing out here tonight, getting this, uh, tr this track meet moved along. You know, the weather's coming in, and they are doing a fantastic job of doubling up and getting guys and girls ready to go. So we are underway here, and the 200-meter dash for the boys. Good start on the inside lane there. I'm trying to see who that is, but he is coming along hard in lane, I believe it's lane four, lane and four. that would be. And that is that Dalton Hobson Dalton from Lima Hobson. Shawnee, and looks like Shawnee's in one three, but Finley's coming at the end. It looks like Finley got him. Uh, Dominic Smith from Finley, I believe, on in lane six, came away with the win there for Trojans. What a run by Dominic Simpson as he edges out Dalton Hobson from Lima Shawnee in the boys' 200-meter dash. Welcome back to Shawnee High School. Finish of the Shawnee Invitational. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stover here. Our title sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. And an administrative move here by the folks in charge of this event, Josiah. They have moved the girls and boys two-mile run together in absolutely the right call. Uh, you know, we're looking at some nasty weather coming in, so a great move by the administration here. Nobody's complaining about that. The folks who are out in this rain are really happy about that. No, absolutely. And looking at our field here, uh, for the young ladies, Natalie Gutman from Finley, Hannah Metzger from Indian Lake, Emily Durham from Elida, Kaya Heinball from Allen East, Jenna Stump from Lima Shawnee, Reem Elbabor from Lima Shawnee, Lindsay Clark from Finley, and Kaylee Taylor from Indian Lake round out the girls' 3,200 meter run participants. And for the boys, Carson Frost from Lima Shawnee, Darren Page from Finley, Titus Kelly from Indian Lake, Carter Cleves from Lima Shawnee, Cole Neese from Allen East, Daniel Wall from Indian Lake, and Adrian Stecholi from Finley round out the boys. 
So we are joined in the booth right now by our newest intern here at WSN, <laughs> Megan Hurston. She's a junior at Delphus Jefferson High School, and she wanted to follow Josiah and I around tonight and learn how to broadcast. I, I don't. I, I kind of questioned her uh, thinking, you know, <laughs> hanging out with you and I. There's a whole lot of better people to hang out with, <laughs> but we so much appreciate it, uh, Megan. Th thanks a lot for coming in. Of course. Yeah, you're pretty excited about tonight. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm a junior at Jefferson. And I go to Vantage Career for sports exercise therapy, and I wanted to major in sports media after high school. Yeah, so this is something you want to do. Uh, is, it, is this what you thought it was going to be like when you see a WSN production? Because, you know, we've talked to you a lot about, you know, off camera and the things that we do and say and, and the production that goes into this. Um, not exactly, but it had a little bit of what I anticipated. Yeah, absolutely. So have you narrowed down where you want to go to get your communication degree or, you know? My mind is set on Miami and Oxford right now, but I'm still keeping my mind open. Well, we appreciate you being here tonight and uh, joining our broadcast. You've done a great job, and uh, heck, she smiles and laughs at all our <laughs> stupid jokes, Josiah. Yeah, so. Absolutely. And, and what, uh, you know, what kind of drew you to this area of communication, broadcasting? You know, what, what kind of sets this field you know, apart from others? I've always had a thing for Engl the English subject in school, and I really want to get into journalism. So... And I like photography, so this was a great aspect to add it, include it all together. And what sports do you play at Delphus Jefferson? I am the girls' high school basketball manager, and I do track. And you, well, let me just tell you something. If you're part of that girls' basketball program, you've had a good couple of years because <laughs> yes. they have been fantastic. And I'm sure you uh, were excited to spend the last couple of years uh, working for that program. Yes, I was very happy. And the coaching and the um, players were amazing. And you run track for Delvis Jefferson also? Yes, what events do you run? I do the seated shot put, seated 100, and seated 400. That is awesome. Congratulations on all that hard work you put into that. And now you want to be a uh, part of the crew here on WSN. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? That's right. Who doesn't? So the two-mile run is underway. They've combined the boys and girls. And uh, it's traditional at these big meets that we get a little dancing out in the middle of the field, Josiah. And we've got it here tonight. <laughs> I love to see the kids that come together. And uh, they're all friends uh, during the meet. And uh, track and field community is awesome. Yeah, well, this is prom season. So, that's right. You know, that's they're right. practicing for, for prom. And that's right. Them, either tomorrow night or the last couple weeks. So they're getting ready out there on the middle of the field. That's awesome. Josiah, let's take a look at some results from uh, other events here tonight at the Shawnee Invitational. Yeah, as we look at the boys' pole vault results, in third place was Jalen Riggle from Elida. In second place was Luke Swan from Finley. And taking the number one spot was Brody Parcel from Indian Lake with a pole vault of 12 feet tonight. Oh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. Also, boys' 300-meter hurdles. In third place was Sam Ernst from Finley. In second place, Jalen Riggle from Elida. And James Stephan, a name we've mentioned a couple times tonight, finishing in first in the 300-meter hurdles with a time of 40.99. So a great finish there by him. And as we said, we mentioned his name multiple times. Yes, we have. We sure have. Tonight, uh, for the boys' 200-meter dash. That's the one we had trouble with because it was such a close contest, right? Yeah, and what, what he said, you know, all that was 22 times. And we <laughs> see it here in third place, Joel Stern uh, from Lima Shawnee. In second place with a 22.9 was Dalton Hobson from Lima Shawnee. With the winning time, Dominic Smith from Finley with a 22.59. Ooh, so, what a, what some <laughs> close. Those young men will see each other a lot during the season, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. And some girls' results for the girls' 200-meter dash. Uh, in third place was Maya Hammer from Finley in second place. It looks like we had a tie um, on here in the 200-meter dash, which was said it was close there at the end. Addison Beck and Ryland Jones. They were neck and neck. Neck and neck, both time 27.5. Oh, when is the last time we saw well, I, in fact I don't know that I've ever saw that I, I don't think so either yeah. so the exact time and, um, and they've, a, got, they've, got, they've got finished timing here tonight yeah. it's not handheld timing no, so, it's, so it's absolutely correct yeah, absolutely Two finishes right see what there. you're doing Megan you're, you're bringing <laughs> such good good vibes to <laughs> us here <laughs> seeing things we've never seen before that's right <laughs> so some other girl results in the girls 800 meter run in third place Abana Dotson from Finley. In second place, Emily Durham from Elida. And in first place was Reagan Rash from Indian Lake with a time of 2 minutes and 29 seconds. So a great finish from there. And the girls, 300 meter. And uh, we know the winner of this one. Yeah, absolutely, we Jones do. Ryland Jones. Away, time of 46.55. 
Uh, other finishers, Addison Lobb came in third. Rachel O'Connor finished in second for Lima Shawnee. You get an athlete like Ryland Jones that just comes out here and she is just something special to watch. And, you know, she comes back from that 300-meter hurdles and, and, and ties the 200-meter run and not much rest at all no. because they've doubled up the uh, events. No, absolutely. And, um, you know, she's just one of those athletes, you know, a, a star in girl soccer. Oh, yeah, know, absolutely. A star on the, on the basketball court. Yeah. You know, comes out here. What, we wouldn't expect anything different Yeah, we're, we're going to see her make a major run towards Dayton this year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, some other results here. The girls' 400-meter dash. Uh, in third place, Tama Jamaya from Lima Shawnee in second place, Lily Zakiski from Finley, and Josie Wyrock from Finley with a time of one minute, three seconds in the girls' 400-meter dash. I'll continue with some time here as the two-mile continues here. Uh, where the girls four by one uh, in third place was a finish by Lida. In second place was Alan East. And Finley won this one um, with a time of 51.31 in the girls' 4 by 100 meter relay. Going back to some boys' uh, results. In third place, Jeremiah Spiceland. Uh, Lyle Foster came in second from Lima Senior. And Noah Williams from Lima Shawnee wins the boys' 800 meter run with a time of 2 minutes 3 seconds so the rain starting to come down a little harder josiah so they uh, absolutely made the right call when they put the boys and girls together for the two mile run as we've got one more event after this then it's the boys and girls four by 400 meter relay yeah and we'll continue with some of the results here it's a good time to to give these results for the girls mile in third place was Emily Durham, a name we've said multiple times throughout these results. Here. Great meet tonight for in that young lady. In third place, in second place, Reagan Rash from Indian Lake, and Jenna Stump from Lima Shawnee, with a time of five minutes and 31 seconds for her mile. Jenna Stump was fantastic Absolutely. in the mile tonight for LCC. The T-Bird, she really so, did Lima a Shawnee. great job. Or Lima Shawnee, excuse yep. me, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, boys, 400 meter dash. Third place, Connor Hermiller. In second place, Sean Alexander, and the winning time from Israel Moore, time of 52.04 in the boys' 400-meter dash. Good call, Josiah. You can mess up names. You mess up schools, and uh, we're right. going to hear from people. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous laughter. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say you were from St. John's. We said you were Jefferson, yeah. right? Yes. We got you. We got you here. <laughs> yeah, look at that girl's high jump. See some results here. Uh, in third place, Sydney Myers from Finley. Jordan Gladen from Elida in second place. And from Finley, Olivia Gayhart with a jump of five feet to win the girls' high jump tonight. Just trying to get as many results in. You're doing a fantastic names. job, my friend. Fantastic job. The, the, the folks out there watching this broadcast want to know how their kids and uh, friends and neighbors are doing. Yeah, boys four by one. Uh, in third place, Indian Lake. In second place, Lima Shawnee, and winning the boys 4 by one was Finley tonight with a time of 43.15 seconds for the boys 4 by one results. Girls 100 meter, 100 meter hurdles. In first place, Ryland Jones from Allen East with a time of 16.23. Shocker. Rachel O'Connor finishes third from Lima Shawnee. In second place, Jordan Gladen from Elida. And looks like we've got our winner in the boys' two-mile run, Josiah, the young man from Finley with the best time. I believe he had the best seed time, did he not? Yeah, uh, Adrian Steckshorty from yep. Finley with a time of 9 minutes and 53 seconds. We'll know until we get the results right. here, the, the final, but they're doing a great job here at Shawnee of giving us some results. And uh, we'll go back to the, some of those results here from boys' mile. In third place was Pat Tran from Finley. Carter Cleaves from Lima Shawnee and Noah Williams from Lima Shawnee with a time of four minutes, 42 seconds. So Lima Shawnee taking one, two. And the Big boys. Big points for the Indians there, yeah. The boys mile. For the girls' 100 meter dash, looking at the results in third place, Tatum Marks from Lima Central Catholic, Aubrey Young from Allen East finishes second, and Addison Beck from Indian Lake with a time of 13.29 for the girls' 100 meter dash. For our boys' discus throw, so a few of our field events thrown in here. In third place, Ezra Miller from Lima Shawnee. Landon Poling from Allen East. 
And with the winning throw, Akis Richardson from Lima Shawnee with a throw of 148 feet, three inches. Nice throw for Richardson Absolutely. tonight. Absolutely, and Lima Shawnee there getting one three. And I think the, the throwers got those throws in before the weather got yeah, nasty. Absolutely. They had good weather to throw in. Nice 70 degree weather for them right, to right. throw a sun. In the boys' 100 meter dash, Israel Moore from Finley finishes in third. Dominic Smith, his teammate from Finley, in second. And from Lima Shawnee, Dalton Hobson with a time of 11.03, winning by four hundredths of a second. Awesome job. On the boys' 100 meter dash. Did you get them all in? Couple more. Oh my goodness, here. you are rolling, bro. Girls four by two in third place, Lima Shawnee. In second place, Elida and Finley winning the girls four by two with a time of one minute forty-six seconds. And it looks like I believe the girls and we have a uh, not yet, not yet. Hundred meters. hundred meters out, and we are gonna have a winner for the girls. And it is the young lady from Shawnee, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And then a late kick there, doing a great job of finishing the lead behind two Finley Trojans. So we got our winners in the boys and girls two mile run. And we're going to let Megan Hurston take us to break by talking about our title sponsor. Who's our title sponsor tonight, Megan? Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. I'm telling you, Joe, she's going to take our jobs. Good job, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Megan you. Hurston, a junior at Delphus Jefferson High School. When we come back, we'll wrap this one up with the girls and boys. Four by 400 meter relay. And we're back here at Lima Shawnee for the Shawnee Invitational. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stober, and Megan Hurston on the call for tonight's event. And the last event of the night, the girls 4x400 four meter relay. It's four laps around the track, four athletes on each team. Megan, who's participating? What teams are in this event? In lane two, we have Elida. Lane three, Lima Senior. Lane four, Finley. Lane five, Lima Shawnee, lane six, Indian Lake, and in the final lane, seven, Alan East. Josiah, you are done. <laughs> I have been relieved of my position, and I'm going that home. That was eloquent. <laughs> Megan Hurston is going to work for ESPN someday, yep. Fox, CNN, whatever she chooses to do, because she well, knows what well, she's doing. Well, at least doing. when that happens, like, we know her. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, when she's big time, we'll yeah, be like, oh, remember like, when she took our jobs? Don't forget about us. And she's going to be <laughs> laughing, going, I didn't want your guys' job. <laughs> you did a great job tonight, Thank Megan. You. Congratulations. Thanks for hanging out with us. I uh, hope you've had a good time. hope you've enjoyed uh, hanging out with us and uh, getting to learn a little bit about the business because we sure do uh, enjoy doing what we do for WSN. So the girls are underway here, Josiah. Uh, good start by all the athletes. Yeah, absolutely. And looks like Lima Shawnee is out there early. And with this being the 4x4, four four, you know, usually without this weather coming in, you know, most of the teams are out there. So the diehard uh, fans are still here in the bleachers with their umbrellas, but uh, we are off and running and should be a great race here. You can stream the WSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download from Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wosn.tv. You can watch us from anywhere. And if you had a chance, go ahead and get that new WSN app. You want to talk about up-to-date scores on everything Every sports season Absolutely. in the fall, the winter, and spring, our guys uh, do a great job of keeping that updated. You know, a lot of apps you'll go to, and it won't be updated for weeks, months, yep. years. And the WSN app is on point all the time. Absolutely. One of the first apps I open every morning right, to get right. an update on <laughs> what happened the night before. And um, they do a great job of, you know, not only just showing the scores, but also some of the stats. And oh, absolutely. Keeping the, the local high school fans, you know, letting sure. them know what's going on in each sport so so we are in uh, lap two i believe here in the girls four by 400 meter relay and it looks like finley is out in the lead uh could be wrong but uh the track uh, has lightened up a little bit because they turned the lights on yeah. I, I thought the weather had moved on but the lights <laughs> came on and lightened up a little bit here but it uh, looks like the finley trojans yep. are in the leads and they are being pushed i believe if we could get a read on who is in second here. Looks like Elida is in third place and second place. That Lima Shawnee. I believe, I believe it's Lima Shawnee. There's been a battle all night between Finley been. and Shawnee. Two really boys good programs. Yeah, both boys, sides. Really good programs here at the Shawnee Invitational. So uh, we are finishing up the girls 4x400 four meter relay. You notice all the kids around the track. Everybody waits for this yeah, event. Coming the last out, one. Yeah. Even like you said, the weather's lightened up a little bit here. The rain's not coming down as hard. We're still getting some rain and seeing some of their teammates coming out and supporting 
this final race of the night. As Finley continues to extend that lead. Yes, they have. Now about half of the back stretch belongs to the Finley Trojans as they continue to to just excel. Yeah, the real the, you know, the battle right now is between second and third as neighborhood rivals Shawnee and Elida battling for that second position. Shawnee holding steady right now, Elida on their heels. So the the, the run is for second and third uh, between Shawnee and Elida. These Finley runners are really strong as they come to the anchor leg of the girls' four by four hundred meter relay. Yeah, and really, you know, continuing to keep that pace towards the end there as some of the coaches urging on their their players to keep pumping those arms and absolutely striding out as much as they can, get that baton to the next runner as Shawnee is there handing it off and Lida is now handing it off. So, but Finley just continuing to extend that lead here now almost a hundred meters of distance between them and Lima Shawnee and. But Lima Shawnee doing a good job of extending that lead. They over really Lyman. are. They've done a great job of keeping that second position, and uh, those will be eight big points if they can hold on to those. And in a race or in a competition like this, where the scores are so close, uh, the difference is uh, just a few points uh, between second, third, and fourth. Um, so uh, we, we see it every every weekend when we broadcast yep. track. These Absolutely. are such important points. And it looks like Finley. Uh, coming around the last lap here as they come down the home stretch, the Finley Trojans are going to win the girls' 4x400 four meter run. And Shawnee holding off Elida for second place. Looks like Elida is it there in third. And who's there? Is that Indian Lake coming behind I them? I believe so. Yeah, it's Elida in third, Indian Lake in fourth. And the Lakers trying to make up that ground. Get the third position, but Elida's going to hold him off. So a great job by Elida to get that third position. And the Indian Lake Lakers will finish fourth in the girls' 4 by 400 meter run. And we're back here for the final event of the night, the boys' 4 by 400 meter relay. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stover, and Megan Hurston from Shawnee High School for the Shawnee Invitational. And let's take a look at the field for tonight's final event of the evening. In lane two, we have Allen East. Lane three, Indian Lake. Lane four, Lima Shawnee with the fastest time of three minutes and 28 seconds. Lane five, Finley. Lane six, Elida. And lane seven, Lima LCC. Not a flaw at all. Impeccable. I'm telling you, <laughs> this girl is on the fast track to stardom. Well, what say you, Joe? I was going to say. <laughs> Uh, we've had a lot of fun with Megan Hurston tonight, a junior from Delphus Jefferson. She's here interning to learn a little bit about the, the profession, and we really appreciate the work that she's helped us with tonight. So let's take a look at some more results here as they run the 4x4. Four four. Yeah, we got to thank Shawnee High School for doing a great job Absolutely. of getting us the results yeah, yeah. and doing it quickly. So let's look at some of these results here in the girls' 3,200-meter run in third place. Lindsey Clark from Finley, Natalie Gutman from Finley, and then first place, Jenna Stump from Lima Shawnee did a great job. Jenna Stump was fantastic meter, tonight. 11 yeah. minutes, 49 seconds. In the boys' 4 by 8 meter relay in third place, Indian Lake. In second place, Finley. In first place, Lima Shawnee, team of Carter Cleves, Hamza Zalem, Sean Alexander, and Noah Williams with a time of 8 minutes and 20 seconds. As we look at the boys' 3,200 meter run, it's a great battle here <laughs> between Shawnee and Finley again. Yeah, once again, they continue to fight for that spot, and it looks like it should be Lima Shawnee quickly with the handoff there first. Yeah, a little trouble by Finley with their handoff, and it gives Shawnee about three steps, and they've got a nice little lead here. Absolutely. As we look at a few more results here in the boys' 3,200 meter run in third place, Darren Page from Finley, Carter Cleves from Lima Shawnee, and Adrian Stecksholdy wins tonight's boys' 3,200 meter run with a time of nine minutes, 37 seconds. Wow, so, what good a great job. run for him. And finally, boys' shot put. A little field event, one of the first ones of the day as we finally get to it. In third place, Christopher Timms from Indian Lake. In second place, Landon Poling from Allen East. And the winner tonight, Akis Richardson from Lima Shawnee with a throw of 56 feet, three inches. And Finley on the last curve here in the second leg of the boys' 4 by 400 has taken the lead. What a terrific job by the Finley runner to overtake the Shawnee runner. And Shawnee in second position now, trying to hold off Indian Lake in the third position. Yeah, what a what a 
leg there by it was fantastic Finley. yeah they were down in that they were they, when they came out of the shoot in the second handoff they were down four or five strides and they did a great job of making it up and, and now we watch the shawnee runner trying to make up ground on the finley runner in a great battle for one and two yeah we talked about this earlier just that 400 is you know you don't want to run too quickly you know want to save a little bit for that that end sprint here, but that Lima Shawnee runner really closing the gap. It's about one step now coming around the corner. So we'll see if he's got anything left. But he <laughs> looks are. like he does. Neck and neck, Shawnee and Finley like they've been all night. And Shawnee overtakes the Trojans. They'll go into the last lap with a, well, I don't know if it's a lead or they tie that, but a tough handoff there by the Shawnee runners there that uh, Finley takes a small lead. Yeah, quickly, a girls four by four. 100 meter relay in third place was Elida. In second place was Lima Shawnee. And winning tonight was Finley with a time of four minutes, 20 seconds for the girls four by 400 meter relay. Josiah, we have got a battle for first and second between Shawnee and Finley as they come around the curve here, as they head towards the home stretch. And it looks like Shawnee is in one, Finley is in two, Indian Lake is in three. Yeah, what a battle here. We'll see if in the last 100, who's got <laughs> the strength here to finish. This is where all that time in the weight room is going to pay off. But it looks like Lima Shawnee extending that lead here. Now it looks like four steps, five steps. It's going to be Lima, Lima Shawnee. Shawnee. And they hold their hand up high as they defeat the Finley Trojans. Coming in third, Indian Lake with a great showing tonight as they've done fantastic. And the Elida Bulldogs will finish fourth in the boys' 4x400. Four so that's going to wrap it up from the Shawnee Invitational. For Josiah Stover and Megan Hurston, I'm Danny Holbrook saying thanks for watching Track and Field on WOSN.